Hey, what's up, guys? I've got some news I think is exciting. A couple of you already know we've talked about it in the past. I am going to take the test in a couple weeks to get my amateur radio license, my ham license. And in preparing for that, I've purchased a couple of radios. This is the first one. We're going to take a look at it here in just a minute. But first, let's go over the different radio frequencies and what's going on with them so you can understand what VHF UHF means. This is the band plan. This is a list of all the frequencies available for amateur radio and it's broken down into their wavelengths. And then we have the color code for what is permissible in those wavelengths. Um, phone is what we would call voice. And there's other things that you can do such as radio teletype and data, uh, Morse code, blah, blah, blah. And then down here, you see all of the different licenses that are available. I will be taking the technician test and the general test. I'm positive I'll pass the technician test. I've been practicing and I'm scoring really well. And I'm 90% sure I'll pass the general test. So, Let's start down on this end of the scale, which is what's considered high frequency. From 3 to 30 megahertz is considered high frequency. And if we look down here in the 2200 meters, there are privileges for extra, which is the highest, advanced, which really doesn't exist anymore, and general. And it's like these most of the way down here until you get to 80 meters where you see that novice which is a whoops, novice which is an old license and technician are allowed to do shortwave in just a small smidgen of the band and then we get up here in the 40 meters 7 megahertz still in that high frequency area and you can see again technicians only are allowed shortwave 30 meters, no technician, 20 meters, which is probably the most popular high frequency band, no technician, no technician, technicians, um, uh, Morse code only. Now when we get up here into 10 meters, which as you can see is 28 megahertz, really close to the CB bands, technicians have red, which is radio teletype and data and single sideband phone from, look at this small patch of ground they give us, 28.3 to 28.5 for 200 kilohertz. Six meters, technician, two meters. Now this is where we're getting into the VHF. Two meters, technicians have basically all privileges. 1.25 meters, 70 centimeters. This is the UHF band. And again, technicians have all the privileges there. Now there's another page that you can download from the uh, ARRL that breaks it down even more. So in the two meter band, for this, are, these are just technician privileges, from 144 megahertz to 144.1 CW shortwave only, and then from 144.1 to 148, we have single sideband AM, FM, TV, all the nice privileges. So that's why I'm hoping I'm able to pass my general so that I'll have access to more frequencies. Take a look at this. I, I ordered two radios. This is the first one to arrive. This is actually a mobile uh, transceiver. I'm going to pretty much use it as a base station. A lot of guys do that. And it is a dual band, VHF and UHF. And this is the first I've opened. Oh, by the way, this is pronounced Lucian. Like the character that Peter Weller played on Longmire. So we get a manual. We get a microphone that has a little keyboard on it. And it looks like an RJ45 connector. We get a uh, cigarette lighter power plug, a microphone clip holder, 
mounting bracket and the radio with a fuse power connection. If I can get it out of here. There it is. Let's uh, see how big it is. All right, we're looking at just over four and a half inches or about 12 centimeters by eight and a half centimeters or three and a half inches by inch and a half or 30 centimeters. So that's small. I mean, that is very small. That's metal. That's plastic. Here's the back. We have our antenna connection. That is the, uh, what, SO239. And we have a uh, external speaker jack. Now, it does have a teeny tiny little speaker in it but I have heard the teeny tiny little speaker in it is pretty much worthless. All right. Let's uh, put some power to it. Okay, so I've got this nice little radio sitting up on a shelf. I've got it hooked up to a power supply and I have it hooked up to an antenna. And just so we can clear up any antenna connector questions. This is a PL259. This is the female side of it. And for some strange RF reason, it is known as an SO239. So you see it has a different name. So that is the standard VHF UHF and um, HF antenna connector type. What we had yesterday with the SDR radio and its antenna is this connector here and that is called the SMA connector and it is considerably smaller than that. So anyway, that's it. I just wanted to clear up that connector business. Now, on with the show. So here's our nice little radio sitting on a shelf. Probably where it's going to live and power it up. And you can see I have some frequencies programmed in. Let me uh, zoom in on the screen here. You guys can see a little better. Maybe not. I don't know. She don't seem to want to focus. Okay, there we go. Now, what you're seeing here is uh, my A channel and my B channel. My A channel is tuned to the uh, weather radio. My B channel is tuned to a local repeater. And we have our nice microphone here has these little up and down arrows I can switch my channels oh, I'm not in channel mode there hold on Boop. okay channel 2 that's my weather radio that's a repeater and then I can go from A to B that's a repeater that's a repeater um, don't have my license yet so unfortunately we cannot key the microphone pretty simple to program these in you see the channel number up there that's channel mode press the menu key you can just scroll through the different menu items there's really nothing to it and then it times out after a minute or two goes back to his regular menu also has a built-in FM radio I don't know why anybody would want that now, let's zoom out here for a second. 
See, here's the micro microphone all lit up. It's got a uh, volume down, volume up, push to talk. And it's got this metal connector on the back here. And what's nice about that is when you come up here and slide it into this mic holder, it automatically locks the keypad for you. So there's no trouble with that. Anyway, this radio is available in two versions, uh, 10 watt and 2 watt, or 10 watt and 25 watt. Pretty small, pretty cheap. I think it's a nice way to get into the whole ham radio business, but make sure you're licensed. Don't break the law. That's it for today. Big thanks to all my patrons. Comment, share, don't forget to subscribe. That's it. I'm out. Oh, it didn't turn off. My big my big finale failed. Peace.